Hi, my name's Leslie. Thank you for trying out Mint Museum Creativity Kit. Today in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps to create your project, but in your kit, you also have the written instructions that you can follow along step by step. Either way, you're the artist, so you may think of doing things differently, and that's totally fine. Be creative and don't make a huge mess because you're not in the Mint Museum studios, you're at your house. To create this mixed media camping under the star scene, we'll paint, splatter paint, draw, and collage. You'll need a couple of hours to work on it, and you can do it all at once or over the course of a couple of days. Set up somewhere where you can keep your art materials out for a while. I'm going to get started by painting my night sky. Even though I'll be collaging over part of this later, I'm going to go ahead and cover the entire piece of paper with my blue and purple paints for now. I blend the colors on the page. You can do this any way you like and then set it aside to dry. Next, I place a second piece of project paper in front of me horizontally, and I draw two lines on it to separate it into thirds. I'm going to fill the first section with black paint. Next, I use some black and some white paint in a mixing cup to mix a dark gray paint, and I fill the second section or the middle section with dark gray paint. This is looking dark, but it will lighten up as it dries. Next, I'm going to add more white paint to my cup to make a lighter color gray, and I will paint the third section with a lighter gray paint. Once I'm finished with this, I'm gonna make sure that I've got my brushes really, really clean and change my water, and I'll set this aside to dry. time to add a second coat to my night sky. I use blue and purple paints and fill the page once again. This creates a nice dark deep background and when we add stars they'll really pop from this. Once I fill the page with paint I make sure to rinse my brushes very well to get them ready for the next step. Next, I get a piece of scrap paper to practice splattering. I'm going to water down my paints and try splattering on this page before I work on my final project. You can load up your brush and tap your brush against your pencil over the page, or you can even just use your finger or your thumb against the bristles to get a splatter onto the page. This is a bit messy, so be careful, but it's really a fun thing to do and get a lot of different sizes of splatters. When you're ready, go ahead and move on to splattering right on your night sky. If you get a big blob like I just did, you can dab it off with a paper towel and then keep on splattering. Next, I'm going to cut my black and gray paper into thirds right along the line where I painted them. This will become the background, middle ground, and foreground of the collage. I'm drawing mountains across the top of the light gray page for the background, and I'll cut those out. You can do whatever you would like. I liked the mountains. For the next piece, the dark gray, that's going to be our middle ground, and I'm going to make this a little bit hilly, a little different from the mountains, and I'll cut that out right along the top and see that it looks, make sure it looks interesting against the other one. I like that, but I'm going to change it a little bit. Next, I'm going to do the foreground, and the foreground is where our campsite will be. So I don't want it to be rocky and mountainy, I want it to be pretty smooth. So I'm going to cut that out, and I think I'm going to add some grass over here. You could add some bushes or make it a little hilly. It's up to you. It's really just to add some interest. When I put the three together, it actually creates a sense of depth.
I'm ready to start putting my collage together. So I get my colored papers and my foreground, middle ground, and background, scissors, glue stick, and pencil handy. And I start to lay out the gray papers. I'm gonna start with the background, which is the light gray. And I'm gonna use a lot of glue with this because this is heavy painted paper and it needs a little extra glue and it needs a little extra pressure. So hold it down and count to 10 at least when you stick it down. Start with your background, next add your middle ground, and finally you'll put your foreground down. Once we get the black part down, we can start setting the scene for our campsite. So I have a site for camping now. So now I need a tent. I chose an orange paper. Choose whatever color you like for your tent and try some different things out. Whenever I collage, I cut out different shapes and I try them in different arrangements on my page before I commit to gluing them down. I'm gonna go with this orange tent. I also want some trees, so I take a black rectangle and fold it in half, then cut it into a triangle, and then sort of draw and cut some raggedy lines on it to get a natural looking evergreen. When I open it up, I can cut a little more detail to make it look a little more natural. Do whatever you would like. You've got lots of different papers to work with. As you get your scene set and you start thinking about the things you'd like to have when you're camping, that's when it gets really fun. Use the papers to create all the things you'd like to have at your campsite. You can also use chalk pastels to add moonlight to your scene. Be creative and have fun coming up with cool ideas for your own campsite. I added a moon and a campfire, a stick with marshmallows and hiking boots, and even a cooler. I hope you have as much fun coming up with this creative campsite as I did. Happy camping!